Alright, wasting some time here with a replay sent in by Hunter Master One. Him in a uh, division with uh, Demo Invader and Sapo. We're going to just say Sapo. They are on uh, straight, two cap domination mode. It's a pretty good uh, matchmaker for them. They are uh, tier 6, I, I do believe it is a, just a tier 6 match. Lots of. Uh, Lots of tier fives on his team too. Anyways, a bit, uh, bit of the replay blug bugs, bugs. I don't know what bugs are. Better watch out for them though. But uh, yeah, replay bugs. I can't, I can't talk. I'm sorry. It's like 1:15 right now. I'm having a bit of the yield insomnia, which is awesome. I don't know if uh, anybody else has any trouble falling asleep, but uh, it's pretty cool. That guy appears to be AFK. It's not the best thing in a Gavney. Those are really uh, useful ships if you have them around. Anyway, his team is uh, Hunter and his division. We're going to go uh, just, uh, slightly southeast, more east than anything else. But they're going to run across a Wyoming and this guy. I mean, <laughs> two Wyomings and they're going to get shot at by three tier six battleships. That's, that's bad news for them. Especially when they're in range. It's not like they can really want to run away. Running away is not an option in a lot of uh, American battleships at the time. This is one thing I would say about uh, the war spite. This is just my opinion about how it should be uh, used sometimes. He does have a Blitzka right in front of him there. That is pretty dangerous. But it's just my opinion that the. Uh, front three guns, so like the front two guns and plus gun number three are sometimes better just to keep those uh, shooting instead of that uh, extra fourth gun because you have to increase your angle by eight degrees to get that uh, fourth rear gun on target. And first kill by Hunter. Takes it right on those, stops that uh, Stops that flooding. It's pretty good uh, tor torp launch from the Blitzka. It's, uh, I believe, I think he got three torp strikes on that one, one volley. Nicely done. And now they're just trying to take out this other Wyoming, which he shouldn't last too long. Anyways, like I was saying, sometimes it's just better to use three guns instead of four, and, uh... Ooh, this is close. This is, uh... Extremely dangerous for everyone involved right now. Wait for the shot. And there he is. Very nice, nice, uh... Shots into the Blisco. He's dead now. Good volley. He does have 30 some odd seconds before he gets his pair back to stop that flooding. He did use his uh, health regeneration to uh, kind of stem the HP loss there. And the uh, other uh, friendly Colorado just took two torps from that same volley. Besides dying. Good torp run. There's another enemy destroyer right there. And uh, Hunter's. I'm assuming Hunter is saving his uh, his repair until that other enemy destroyer is dead. Looking to get blasted on this Kongsberg. There it is. Alright, the enemy destroyer is also dead and now he uses it, so. Nice Citadel hit on that cruiser, too. Got a low HP, but uh, that is one thing about the War Spite. It will get a massive amount of hit points regenerated. <laughs> this last, uh, last Wyoming just running away for his life. 
I was gonna say, it's pretty good uh, shot placement by Hunter. And all the volleys he, he shoots, I mean, I wouldn't fault any of them for being uh, missed shot, which you see a lot of people do. I do like the war spot, just uh, the speed's a bit uh, troubling at times. Especially in a moment like this where the <laughs> the enemy teams have both uh, defeated the half the team that was in front of them. At friendly Konigsberg still alive up there, but uh, if he's headed towards that many ships, I don't expect that's going to last for too much longer. Now it's just a bit of the ye old sailing, trying to recover some hit points on the way up there. Nice big huge uh, health regen from the war spite right here. And Hunter's going to go up the uh, 7 to 8, well the 8 line. It looks like his two division mates are going to go straight up. Hunter, the war spite is slightly faster than the uh, the American battleships. I think it has like uh, two knots, about two knots on it. Actual like usable speed. Let's have a Nicholas coming in here. Hopefully that Gevney will be able to kill that Nicholas. But, you know, hoping in what actually happens in a war game, a game is usually the same thing. The Gevney is now... God, just... Oh, the Gevney was detonated. That is unfortunate. Detonation. Pretty good start to the game. Three kills. A couple Citadel hits. Got the Rambo medal. First blood. And his two uh, division mates do kind of turn back up. But I'm assuming they're just turning that way to get their guns on to Yoko. Or some over the mountain shots. Really do like uh, if I'm spawned on the actual east side of this map. I do like uh, fighting in the narrows here, kind of in the EF uh, seven eight area. So if you get a lot of cover, and, uh, a lot of possibilities to get a lot of shots off without having to take return fire. Nope. Destroyer's front. That's bad. Swing and miss on that volley. Not a, not a good volley, but uh, can't have that. Can all be good. Putting his nose in so he Torpedoes doesn't catch the torch right. that that guy is going to have launched. It was a pretty good launch that he was assuming that Hunter would turn in. Friendly got the kill on that. Just happy to get that destroyer out of the way. I'm sure Hunter was. It's nice of the uh, <laughs> Nicholas to leave him some smoke, though. It's kind of un unusual that every a lot of people on Hunter's team went this way. Like the one division mate went up the middle, and one has fallen behind him. But things happen. <laughs> There's a replay glitch for you right there. <laughs> Tag for the Cleveland. <laughs> it's in front of the ship. Okay, there it fixed itself. The shenanigans that happen in replays are sometimes just uh, impressive. I really do like the premium camo they gave for the, for the war spite. It's uh, kind of almost like digital camo. Anyway, he's getting really close up into the enemy here. Maybe not the best idea, but uh, 
Horse Bite is really accurate at uh, close range. She used uh, this other heel right there. Got a nice two thirds health almost. And look for the shots on this Miyoko. Doesn't look like he is paying attention. And just peril with the. Looks like good rounds. Right into the face hole of that guy. Took him out. Nice shot. Two citadels on that guy, that one volley. And is looking for. Kind of look at that New York. I'm pretty sure he's. Keep a watch on that Omaha. And these enemies are shooting at the Cleveland next to him. Silly fellows. Shots out on that guy. Another Target Citadel. Penetrated. Massive hit. Friendly Cleveland's getting beat. Pretty beat up here. It doesn't make sense why they're attacking the Cleveland. They have a war spite in their face. Good uh, target priorities from Hunter here. Switches targets set, even though he, he almost has the Pensacola dead to the Omaha because it's torpedoes. You know, it's always got to think something like that. Really nice shot, play, placement again. RNG and uh, good lead. More Citadels. Nice six Citadels so far. That was kill number five. Secondary is doing a little bit of work into this Pensacola. Newman's also still alive, but uh, like some nice battleship rounds. Was just shot at by that Nagato. Nagato gets, uh, I believe that was two Citadels. Into Hunter here. And that was, he was almost full health, but uh, Nagato showing really nice broadside now this is how I, I like to play I like to play my war spy I like to play it in close because you do uh, even without getting citadels you can get those uh, nice shot groups and get massive damage rolls on your hits like uh, Hunter just did there no citadels but uh, 11,000 on three hits Just the penetration damage is, uh, I think it's around, uh, it's almost 4,000 per shell. Another nice, nice shot grouping. That looked like uh, three overpins though. Gatos, danger ship to be uh, fighting in the semi squishy war spite though. Shot the rear guns, got a nice uh, sizzle hit and one regular hit. Anyways, nice game from uh, Hunter Master here. Pretty decent uh, credit earning. Seven kills, eight citadels, a ton of uh, badges. Apparently, Hunter does need badges. He needs stinking badges. Nice uh, cont contribution to the team there. <laughs> Far and away, the. Uh, not, not not really carrying the team, I mean, they, they contribute a bit, especially the uh, his division, uh, fellow division mates there, but uh, he did put in the most work out of everybody, 111,000 damage, and plus a little bit of secondary damage down there. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed, come back soon.